The woman opened the door. She saw her daughter twisting and turning, climbing up to the ceiling. The mother was terrified. Finally, she found Constantine, the Hellblazer. As soon as he entered the room, he opened the curtains. He pulled out his magic weapon and began to identify the type of demon in the sunlight. He pressed it to the girl's head. The demon began to convulse, but it wouldn't leave the girl's body. John had a mirror brought in. Then he smashed the glass in the window and moved the bed to the window. John had them hold the mirror above his head. After confirming the girl's condition, he put his hands over her eyes and began to recite an exorcism. As he finished reciting the exorcism, he immediately let go of his hand and sealed the demon in the mirror. John ordered everyone to throw the mirror down, but it got caught on the edge of the window. The mirror was about to be shattered by the demon. John did it himself. He pushed the mirror out the window at the last minute. The moment the mirror was smashed, the girl on the bed returned to normal. For the Hellblazer, it was just a normal day in his career. This man is so cool. At the age of 5, he could see evil spirits on Earth. By the age of 15, he was traveling between Hell and Earth. Since then, he has been a famous detective of Hell. But the doctor told John, he had terminal lung cancer, and only 3 months to live. But John didn't care. He was going to smoke, but then a demon attacked him. He had offended to many demons. Every demon wanted to kill him. In the midst of his struggle, John picked up a stick from the ground and temporarily dispersed the demon. Then lured the demon to the middle of the road and used a passing cart to smash it right into the middle of the road. Just after he was out of danger, John rushed to the church. He wasn't a religious man. He'd send a lot of demons back to hell over the years, just so he could go to heaven when he died. But the angel Gabriel told him that a man without faith, the gates of heaven would not open for him. John could only leave in frustration, but his work wasn't over. This man died of thirst in a supermarket. He was a psychic. Just by touching a newspaper, he could instantly find the information he needed. He could also read the memories of corpses by touching them. But today he was in big trouble. This corpse memories were very scary. The man was so shocked that he fell to the ground after just one touch. An unsettling pattern appeared on the corpse's right wrist. The man realized he was in big trouble. He suddenly felt very thirsty. He took out his bottle of wine and tried to take a sip, but he couldn't pour a drop. He panicked and fled the morgue. He went to the supermarket and searched frantically for a drink. But every bottle he opened wouldn't feed in his mouth. When he put it back on the shelf, the wine flowed out. The man was dying of thirst. He smashed open the bottles, but the water wouldn't come out. He senses he's about to die. So he found a corkscrew and poked himself in the palm of his left hand. Before he died, he left an important clue. It was the sign of the devil's son, Mammon. He was coming to Earth 